What happens to experience this up close? A thousand fans have lapped up the chance. Look to find their range. Size each of their timing. The trio now. World titles back to Bulgaria. It's new time for AJ. And look at this with the throw. Jab, single jabs are no good. He needs to double. I can see he's trying to edge closer. Keeps nudging. He's trying to edge closer all the time. Good defense here from Pulev. Joshua. Yeah, lovely jab there from Joshua. Jab to the body. Will... The judging of distance. And we know about banana skins and all. Especially lead left hook for Joshua. Oh! from Joshua in the third round and Pulev took that but he was by Joshua and there's plenty of time in the round but remember the third in the beautiful back up from Joshua beautiful punches from Anthony Joshua ball at sea and the referee goes in and he's in just over 50 seconds and the power of Anthony Joshua is there for all to see the uppercut brilliant the right hand that started it was an Absolute beast, she timed it perfectly. I think he's gonna get the knockout here, he's gonna go for it. Pins the uppercut. uppercut, down goes Pulev. It's world heavyweight champion almost in. To take that first right hand that he walked on to, never seen it coming. Joshua timed it, and has since then landed several swings. A, a different angle of it. Yeah, there's that uppercut. What a brilliant shot for Joshua. Yeah, it was just, there, just slipped outside the jab. And then Joshua, after that, landed a couple of really vicious uppercuts on the Pulev turned up with several hard uppercuts as well. Double sparring, rhythm work, right hand from Pulev, who might lose. Doesn't want to become predictable or readable with that jab, so he wants to make... Yeah, I think Pulev's trying to jab the... Oh, good right hand. That was a good one from Joshua. Pulev has taken, I think he would have knocked the most heavy, but it was at the end of the punch. We see Pulev stepping in there. Lovely jab there from Joshua, snapping the head back. Now we have a crowd here tonight, but there has been no crowd up until tonight. Trying a lot of feints here, Pulev, I think he's trying to feint the jab. He's out up in Sheffield. Day. From Pulev. Just, yeah, just seeing it there again. Yeah, nice movement there from AJ, just slides. A definite willingness on Pulev to commit more in that last round. He was... 2009. Here comes Joshua. And an uppercut again from... Place that from Joshua. Wow, right hand, but again, look at, for the uppercut, and he's planting his feet now. Huey Fury was telling us that Yonte Wada, one of the great performances. Joshua's looking... He can, he can end in any moment, but like I said, he, he needs to just step on the gas because Pulev's there for the taking, really. Last man standing. Right hand. Looking up at times, Joshua, as he goes back. So there was no power in it then at that point. The sting... Yeah, there's that right hand that Pulev left to Joshua. Jab, fainting the jab, hooking up the chin, and he's reaching with the shot, and he's falling off balance. There's the uppercut again, doubles it. Oh, good uppercut from Joshua, and that one really hurt Kubrat Pulev. Sighting, he pushed shots the other, but he knew that when it wasn't there, because Pulev, what a solid chin he had, when he had to step back and he's on. Ninth round, 30 seconds remaining. He's the bell. Will Joshua let him off the hook? Oh, right big shots. And that is it! Finisher. Yeah, absolutely. Bang on the chin. Nothing to be ashamed about at all. That right hand, beautiful. And remains on that road to undisputed. No win to get back onto the boxing. I thought it was a really good performance. And it's so far. And he's getting a lot of respect from the crowd. He, tried there, he had that fantastic chin, from which he recovered in the third round. But, you know, that was a shot there. AJ Anthony!